Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Xenogears Part 68 or something ridiculous. Maybe it's only 58. I don't know. But for God's sakes, uh, crazy stuff is going to happen in this episode, if I remember correctly. So let's give it and try to ward off robot voice with our brains. What is that? Also, I flipped a coin to see if I should take Momo or not. The coins don't steer you wrong. There must be a reason. This must be the place. Wait for me! Looks like we're trapped in Faye's head again. This is as far as you can come. From here on is my world. You can't enter. What do you mean? You're a subordinate fake persona. That's why. A subordinate fake persona? Yes. He is part of my memories from back then. He has sealed away the very meaning of my existence. My drive. My motivation. My subconscious id. Because of that, I became a basic blank persona. On top of that, I constructed a new persona based on my experiences since then. That is what you are now. Him? You mean father? You call him father? He who never did anything for you? It is because of his cowardly behavior. If only he had been able to protect me. If he had done that, mother wouldn't have died. Didn't my mother die right after I was born? What really happened to my mother? Tell me, id! You don't need to know. You'll only disappear soon. Along with your basic persona, the coward. I'll rule my being through the power of the existence. Of course you don't know. But it's etched into my metapsychic memory. Your persona is fake, so it'll never stand on the stage of consciousness. You'll never be able to take charge of the memories from our past lives. I know the dreams and hallucinations! I've seen them many times! Them? I showed them to you on purpose. To break the seal, I chose to weaken the power of your existence. If your mental energy is weakened, I can become free and do as I wish. What? There are still some things inside you which you haven't been shown yet. Huh? Someone's coming! It's probably your friends. They must have followed me. Where are you going? I came to reestablish contact with the existence. To tie together all the threads of your memory since ancient times. And then cut them off. That is the fate of the contact. All is ready. It's time for the true awakening. I will eliminate all those... I will eliminate all those who are full of hypocrisy from the very... I will eliminate all those who are full of hypocrisy from the very beginning. Wait! Wait for me, Ed! You just stay here and observe. Oh my god, she looks so dumb. She doesn't even have a floating down animation. What is this? Hey, this must mean this is Watal's transformed appearance?
Okay, let's see how this works out. Id. Fully transformed. But I have a secret weapon! Not you. You're not that secret anymore. Ha! Nice damage. Also, you'll notice that despite the fact that he has a sword, he has been reverted back to his original gear form. Because without the Enema Relics, which now reside in Deus, we no longer have Omni Gears. Secret weapon, go! Yeah! We saw that damage. He doesn't even know how to handle it. So sad. Whatever, I had to bring her. It was preordained by the cosmos. <coughs> he's hitting, but he's not hitting so hard that I'm, like, completely worried. Devil Hand! Nice. Take a chunk out of him. Alright, let's do what you really brought you here to do. Uh, knock you. Healing! I can heal him for about one hit, it seems. Which isn't amazing, but... Whatever. Oh no! Yeah, That hurt a lot. This boss battle doesn't seem too crazy, I'm glad, because <laughs> if it was, I think bringing, uh... Bringing Momo would have been a huge mistake, but whatever. There we are. That is damage. Whoa. Uh oh. Ah! Hope I didn't speak too soon. Pow! That's right. Fall to the might of the mighty Momo. Yeah. I believe she has an ether doubler. Maybe I can actually do damage with this. Geyser! Ah! Nah. More than certain other characters are doing with their attacks, but... She can certainly do better by just slugging him in the face with her magical wing arms. Good. Oh. Alright. Air Bash! The ultimate attack! Bam! <laughs> Absorbing stars into my ass and exploding them in your general direction. Whoa, God! It's burning rush. Oh, that didn't do a lot of damage. Maybe because she has ridiculously high ether defense. You probably should have thought about that before you did that. Yeah, that's like the best target she could he could have taken for uh, using that attack. Super defended. Ugh. Is it just me as her... Or is the tax getting stronger? Also, is it just me, or did I forget to use Booster, like, ages ago? Oh, he doesn't even have a recovery unit, for God's sakes. Yeah, I... Oh, well. We brought a gigantic pink recovery unit, fortunately. Forest Dance! Wing. Alright. Boost it. This battle will probably be over if I'd remembered to boost her before. God. Completely hamstringed myself. That's just a horrible lapse. Hit ha! Dang strong. She's got to have a healing unit, though. She has to. No? What is wrong with me? Oh well. Let's just keep on fighting. Yeah! Let's do a powerful attack. Actually, I'll do a, I'll do a rank two. And he's, a, he's doing massive damage with his regular attacks. It's kind of crazy. Oh, God. That's going to do damage. Uh, yeah. One more hit from that, and she's gone. Though this should keep her alive for another round. Even if he, if he uses a regular attack, anyway, that should keep her alive. 
Alright. I'm gonna take a risk here. She has a 50-50 chance of going into hyperdrive next turn. Assuming she doesn't die. If she dies, she's not gonna go into hyperdrive, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Ha! Come on. Ugh. Yeah, good thing I healed. See? It's a good thing I brought Momo. Yes! No screwing around. Dark Force! Hey there, little guy. Poke. Alright, that was enough. Are you okay? Wise man? It's already too late. Assist me, for I am about to exterminate id. Zohar is Dias's core. The slave generators and ether. It's the source of all their energy. After obtaining its power, the freshly awakened id intends to annihilate this world. The contact with Zohar was meant to be done after the unifying of Phase True personality. Huh? Keep back! Huh. <laughs> you again? You're always getting in my way! But I cannot be stopped by you. You who couldn't even protect your own wife and son! You cannot even bear to show your face to your own son. That's why you wear a mask, isn't it, Khan? Son? That's right! This man is FaZe. No, I mean... My father, Khan Wong! What happened to Fay? Id? Too bad. The new personality of Faye that you gave birth to. And all that work that your persona did to make him one perfect unified whole has been wasted. He will be swallowed up by me. I won't permit it. I will destroy you first. As if you could, sissy. Mother died because of your cowardly behavior. And as a result, he ran away from that reality by entering into his memories. And now, I continue my existence bearing all that hatred. You wouldn't be able to imagine what it's like! I wasn't simply working to unify Faye's personality, you know. All that you and I feel. The sadness, the hatred. Even though he also experienced such things. Faye needed to be encouraged to build himself up in order to comprehend all of this. They should be able to understand all of your feelings now. But now you want to erase the one who understands you? To kill Faye? What is it that you want? Why ask me such a thing now? My purpose is the same as his. Total destruction! That and that alone. Is this world such a bad place that there is only hatred inside of you? YOU'RE THE ONE WHO MADE ME THIS WAY! YOU AND THAT WOMAN! ADMIT IT! Uh, Faye, can you hear me? Please, take this fistful of memories I have given you. Become one with yourself and with me! Hey, where did the real you go? Remember! Were you not going to help Ellie? Yes. This is inside id. The world filled with hatred and sadness. That's all there is here. Yes. I understand id. Why you hate the world? Why there is nothing inside of you? Nothing. Nothing was given to you, deprived of all of the happy memories, and yet, 
It feels pleasant. It almost feels good. Now I get it. There's no need to resist. I was originally just an existence created as a cover to hide id. So it would be better to just return to that place. Let's come together. To wipe away everything. Including ourselves. Remember! Were you not going to help Ellie? Ellie? That's right! Ellie! I've got to save Ellie. What's... This place? What's he done now? He only called you here for his sake. This is inside the shell of your basic character. The Room of the Coward. I'm sure you've been here many times before. I see. I remember now, in my dreams. Everything despised and unwanted was pushed unto me, while he shut himself up in his own little shell. The Coward Fay. The basis for our personalities. Who are you? Uh, you're my... Hey, let's watch this together. This is my most treasured possession. <laughs> By repeatedly replaying the times that he was full of happiness, he lives in his own little world. Well, I'm still only alive because of what's in those leftover dregs. Here, I'll show you everything about me. Ours was an ordinary family. A strict but reliable father. A kind and loving mother. Up until then, it was... complete happiness. But one day... Mother suddenly changed. She was like a totally different person. From that day on, Faye lost his home. Father was away often. He had some important work. When father was away from home, Faye was taken to a place with mysterious machines. Inside, there were many strangely dressed people. Many types of probes were ejected into Faye's body as the start of some kind of experiments. The test caused Faye much pain. Help me, Mom! What are you doing? No! No! Mother didn't come to his assistance. Young Fei had no way of resisting. But he was able to endure. Eventually, the experiments became unbearable. Many people gathered around Fei. These people have a high compatibility with the Anima Relics. This psychic contact with Fay was to force him to awaken. But no one can make contact with Fay. The power drawn out of Fay, regardless of his will, destroyed them all. This was unbelievable. Mother allowed this to take place? Psychic contact? What do you mean by awaken me? To awaken God. Everything had to be in perfect order, with nothing lacking. Things divided in the past must become one complete whole again. Countless people died before Faye's eyes. Men, women, the old, the young, even demi-humans. 
suffering, grief, fear, ecstasy, a variety of emotions and words lingered and trembled about Faye like broken dolls. It was a scene from hell. In front of father, she acted normally. And Faye tried to tell father about mother's strange conduct and the experiments. Father's mind was taken up by his work, and he didn't really listen. He thought it was just childhood fantasies. But he didn't have to endure the pain much longer. Faye's subconscious discovered a way to escape from the trauma. He formed a separate persona to deal with things he didn't like and couldn't bear. He removed himself from out of harm's way. My role was to have all of the things he hated forced upon me the moment they arose. From the time of my division from him, I was dominated by hatred. That hatred naturally turned into destructive impulses. I wanted to destroy everything. Mother, father, the entire world. Finally, father noticed mother's odd behavior, but it was already too late. I had completely separated from that coward, my original self. The puppets were broken, and... Faye's heart was too. What could make Mother do such a thing? Mother repeated the experiments to study the power she knew existed within me. Yes, that woman, Mother, was Mang. That's a lie! No. It's true. Mother was Meng. That's right. Karen had become Meng. What is that you say? It's nothing special. Meng does not have only one host body. Meng's roots are sealed within the genes of all women. Any of them could become Meng. It just happened to be Mother's turn. Only Ellie was special originally. No! Karen, Meng, noticed that Faye's memory access had increased two to three-fold. She then became convinced that Faye was the contact. Contact? Yes, I was the contact. That's why he called out to me. And why the time had come. Stop it! Cut it out! Dad! Dad! Mom! Help Dad! Mom! Why aren't you helping Dad? Dad! Dad's gonna die! Graf had come seeking the power that exists within me to return to his original body. You understand now, don't you? Graf is Lycan. We, his descendants who inherited his lingering thoughts and memories from him, know only too well. Divided 500 years ago, he would become a part of both of us. Lycan became Graf. He destroyed everything on the face of the earth. He then mastered how to possess bodies of others by dwelling in their minds. He was probably unable to do this after his contact with the existence. The bodies died, but like in spirit, continued living by possessing others. He had come that day to return his soul, at last, to the perfect incarnation of his physical body. The body of Fay. Father fought him, but he couldn't protect mother or I. He pitifully fought while coughing up his own lifeblood. Graf made a mockery of father, and mother would not even help when he needed her most. As for their son, he couldn't take what was happening anymore.
he gave into his feelings and released his power. And as a result, Mother died. Mom! And he offloaded the results of his actions unto me. To avoid taking the responsibility for killing Mother, he used me as a shield. I also killed Mother. He pushed all the bad things unto me, but kept all the memories with happiness and Mother's love to himself. And he shut himself away with those memories inside his own little shell. Forever. This is the place. What you see before you is what he has made. He just keeps hanging on to those memories. That's what this is. Stop it! Just stop it! This... These scenes... Are these all that there is to us? Enough already! There's nothing here! Just a world filled with deception and pain! It can't be helped. This is our world. This is everything. I was a fool. It was all my fault. I was so busy with my duties in Chevette that I didn't notice Karen had changed. I couldn't save you when you needed my help. Save me? <laughs> Why bother saying such nonsense now? It's not going to change anything. The only thing you could do now is die by my hand! Ugh! Even still, I'll show you that I can save you! Dad! Stop it, Ed! Father's done nothing wrong! I know. This one is the real culprit. Mother and father had no choice. Thanks. Pass it back to me. I'm playing with mother. This is not... Reality? This is all of this! It's all fake! It's all a trick! All of it! All of it! All of it! No! Get out! This is my room! I thought you would always be with me! Why won't you see reality? Happiness? Sadness? Aren't all these parts that are combined to make the whole? Why won't you show him? Why won't you show Id what you always watch? No, that's mine! I don't want to show the person that killed Mother! You should talk. You're the one who killed Mother. No, I didn't. You did. I did not kill Mother. Mother didn't care for you. Father didn't notice either. That's why you killed her. I didn't kill her. I didn't. I did it. Knock it off! We killed Mother. It's no one's fault but ours. It's not because she became Ming, or because Father didn't notice. But yourself. Yes, Mother was Ming. And I know that you suffered. No one could have endured it. But you can't push it onto it alone. We are all one person. We must become one. Right? Faye? You walk on your own two feet. Face up to reality and see what you don't want to see. Show them to Id. Everything you took for yourself.
lies. That woman... The scene. All illusions made up by him. I... My consciousness can see through this trick. I won't be swayed. I... I... Id, that's enough. Doing that isn't going to solve anything. Mother saved us at the last moment. This is the truth, right? The reality isn't all grim, Id. My power couldn't save anyone. It only destroyed. I thought that I could only make a connection to others through destruction. So I had to destroy it all. People. The world. Even Ellie. No, that's not the case. We can save ourselves just as our mother, despite being Mang, saved us. Our power can save people. We can save Ellie. That's a first. Mother being so warm. To me, she almost seems too warm. Faye, take the memories I have within me. You must know what it used to be like up until now. Know our identity, about who we are, then figure out what ought to be done. Our integration is not yet complete. Elhayam! Abel. Live! I just can't hand over our child. Live!
Faye. Faye. Who are you? Who's calling me? I am heart. What is this light? I, I reside in Zulhar. I am the beginning and the end, the first and the last. God? God. Some would refer to me as that. From a certain point of view, it is right to view me as such. But at the same time, I am not. I am also a part of you. A part of me? I am defined by how people observe me. You are actually talking to a virtual version of me that you yourself created. I am your perception of me. I don't understand what you're talking about. Who or what are you? In one word, existence. Existence? In actuality, I do not have a physical form. I am an existence from a higher dimension, a place you cannot perceive. But in terms you understand, it is a world where everything acts as kinds of waves. It is the source of this fourth dimensional universe, a place where time and space are controlled, a fluctuating void, the wave existence. What does such an existence have to do with me? Long ago, the modifier, or a pseudo-perceptual infinite energy engine, was created. That engine was named Zolhar. The reactor was created by an ancient people from another planet to obtain what was considered to be the ultimate energy possible within the fourth dimensional universe. Eventually, these people used that same engine to create the ultimate interplanetary invasion weapon, Deus. Solhar was used as its primary source of power. But the unexpected happened. During the connection tests of Zolhar with the newly created Deus, the engine started to exhibit infinite potential phenomenon. Requiring energy, the engine connected this dimension to the higher dimensional space. As a result, that engine merged, or synchronized, with the wave existence in that higher dimension. Me. I descended from the point of contact created by the machine through the path of Sararat, or the domain which you are in right now, an incarnation of the fourth dimensional world. After I advented to the fourth dimensional world in order to stabilize myself here, I had to exchange, or materialize, my form and enter into the modifier engine. In other words, I became bound in Zolhar, the cage of fleshy existence. Since the time I was bound in Zolhar, I have always wanted to return to my own dimension, and I came to the conclusion. I had to reverse the process I went through to arrive here. I must be released by the one who instilled within me the special feature of this dimension, the will. That one is you. Decided it was me? Yes. I was given a special attribute of a human by you, the contact, when you observed me. I was given a mother's will. A mother's will? I'm sure you remember. After my descent, you had contact with the modifier engine, Zolhar. As a contact, but being only a child, you defined my existence with the desire to return to your mother. Thus, I came to prepare the mother's will. That will is Elhayim. Ellie's disposition was influenced by me? Yes, my will was incarnated through the biocomputer, which was vital for Deus. By combining with me, the biocomputer evolved its functions, and that bioplant generated the central element. That is her. I was split by your contact. My physical form, or flesh, stayed with Zolhar, while my will went to Ahayam and my power went to you. 
That's why I waited to unite with you. And now, it is fulfilled. My only remaining desire is to break this cage of fleshy existence. In order to do that, I must become perfect by combining with Alhaim, as well as my other split physical form, Deus. The only way to return to my original dimension is to destroy this physical body. In the fourth dimensional world, Zolhar is perfect. So in order to destroy Zolhar, I need the strength that was attributed to you. Zohar can only be destroyed by the hands of the contact. What about Ellie? If Zohar is destroyed, what will become of Ellie? Zohar and Deus are one. She is bound to the system and by another's will to become one with me. In order to release her, it is necessary to destroy that very system that serves as the weapon Deus. However, having been created as a weapon, the Deus system seeks to unify itself with all of you for a purpose different than that of mine. Originally, her release should have been performed by me, the one who desired to return back to the higher dimension. But I am also bound to the system just as she is, so I am not able to participate. You are the only one that is able to release her from the spell. Just as Deus and I are inseparable, you and her are also inseparable. All right. I'll destroy Deus and the Zolhar modifier, and I'll save Ellie. You have experienced much loss and desperation in your life. It is very tragic. Our contact and the resulting transference of power and will between you and I most likely played a factor in the splitting of your personality. I disagree. I can't blame anyone or anything besides myself. Regardless of what may have happened in the past, with the passing of time, the cause becomes more remote. It is a problem that comes from within myself that I myself must deal with. I see. You have managed to accept those tragedies and tolerate those things, to comprehend where you stand in this world. If you have succeeded in to do all of these things, I am sure you will succeed in what awaits you now. To liberate all of us, use the Zeno Gears. Destroy Zolhar. Wait! There's more I need to ask you! The system is awakening. Ask her later. Oh, all right. Let me see if I can do a quick synopsis of this. I'm actually had to re-record that second half. I'm glad I got through it, but all right. So it's mainly you find out about Face Past. You find out that his mother actually turned into Mang. And remember, Mang can be any woman at any time. There's only one Mang at a time. But when Mang dies, like when her original bodies die, she automatically gets sent to another woman's body. And she just happened to be sent to Faye's mother's body, though I doubt that's a coincidence. And she tortured the poor boy, which is the reason he has multiple personality disorder. That's the trauma that hap that caused his memory to split. However, after realizing certain truths, he was able to reintegrate himself, and now he is his true self. In fact, the Fae that we've been playing with isn't really the true Fae at all. It's just a personality that was created only three years ago. And when he was able to... And now we also find out the more important thing, that Faye is the contact. This is why he's the contact. He's the contact because he has the ability to make contact with the Zolhar modifier, which has the wave existence. Or, if you look at it a certain way, God. Actual God. A being that comes from a dimension that actually created the universe. Now you notice, like, Ming calls Deus God. Deus is just a weapon that was created by humans. However, he is God in a way because he actually created all humans that are on this planet. So they're both kind of God in a way. In addition, the wave existence is his power source. So, but uh, is there anything else I need to explain real quick? I'm trying to think. Faye, in addition, also remembers all of his past lives. Now they've shown three past lives. Um, Abel, which is actually his original form. Uh, Abel actually lived on the ship that you see in the opening cutscene for this game. Uh, the next one is Kim, a scientist from 4,000 years ago. He's very significant, and you've seen him in certain dreams before. Um, Lycan, who turned into Graf. They've mentioned that specifically now. Graf is Lycan. The reason that they're both able to exist, though, is because Graf slash Lycan figured out how to possess people, but part of his soul actually kind of died, and that's why Faye was still able to reincarnate. So they're both kind of the same person, which is weird. And then Faye. Now, despite what certain things have said, I'm relatively sure he has way more than just those four reincarnations. I wouldn't be surprised if Faye has been reincarnated hundreds of times. 
And they kind of suggest that when they're having dreams at the beginning of the second disc, because they say that they have countless memories of countless women and countless men. So it doesn't seem like they're just being reincarnated like four times. That would be ridiculous to say countless when the number is four. Also, Ellie created specifically because Abel wanted to see his mother. Now, I mentioned that there were two aspects why this game was influenced by Sigmund Freud. One was his mental theory about the id, the ego, and the superego. The other one... And I know this is not a coincidence, and I'm not going to spell it out, but the other one is the Oedipus Complex. <laughs> Don't think about it too much. It's okay. They're not... No, I can't say it straight out. Anyway, next episode, um, Faye has ancient knowledge now. He knows about all of his past lives. What's going to happen now? He knows what he needs to do. I guess we'll find out how he implements it next episode of Xenogears. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.